you guys, I have one of the coolest props, collector items, weapons, everything. I have one of the coolest things I've ever gotten in a long while. I can't remember the last time I was this excited for something this cool. And like, I'm trying to think. I love everything in my collection. I don't keep things that I don't love. I try not to buy things that I won't love. Of course, there are circumstances where you pick up something, you later on, you realize it's not as great as you wanted. This is the Dagger of Mortis from the Mortis arc in Star Wars, The Clone Wars. As far as I know, Florence from Props Foundry is the only maker who has made this full-size resin cast or, or just made any type of dagger like this at all. And this is the second one in production. A few months ago, another fan collector reached out to Florence and asked if she can, you know, make this. She got the designs, she made her whole resin cast, everything, all from scratch. And she made it, and I'm like, I want it now. Right away, you know, she was accommodating, she put me on her list, I was number two, and within maybe two or three weeks after completing the first one, she had this done and ready for me to go. And it was at my door in less than five days since shipping. And she's in Canada, I'm in California. Like, this is incredible. I, I'm, I wish I had waited to open this because I knew I was gonna love it. I didn't think I was actually gonna have my jaw drop and just be speechless when I opened this from the box. I'll get, I'll get into a close-up and a review at the actual item in a moment, but I'm so excited for this item. I mean, this is amazing work, attention to detail, and I mean, I love Props Foundry to begin with because they made my Jedi Temple Guard mask, quite frankly, the best mask you will get from for a Jedi Temple Guard. I've seen dozens of other creators, and I get it, everyone is at a different skill level, they have different resources, but there are some that are just not that great and none of which compared to that mask. This one, I don't know if we'll see anyone else take on this task, but this is incredible. If you don't know, Dagger of Mortis was in the Mortis arc with the father, the son, and the daughter. When the father was trying to save the galaxy, the universe, everything, he told Obi-Wan and Anakin to get the dagger and kill the son. Of course, he ended up killing, the daughter killed herself, then the father, was it the father killed himself too? I'll have to brush up on that. As you know, they all died. That was that whole story but this dagger was absolutely incredible and it's pretty big it's not quite a dagger dagger but it's more like a short sword this thing is absolutely incredible it's, it has a good weight to it this comes in at just under one and a half pounds and it is about 25 inches long this is a great size prop and I swear Florence is one of the best prop makers in the business the level of attention the focus and the creativity and the artistry she puts in all of her work Phenomenal, amazing. And the sword itself, I think when you watch the show, you don't realize the small details that are in it. Like just look at the handle, the way the gold actually spirals all the way and it's not on the other side, so it does come up just on that front side. And wraps around the bottom. And that is incredible. And I love the detail she put in the actual blade. I feel like most prop makers, they would just make this one flat color. But you see in the show, it has all these streaks. And later on, at one point, you do see like the green, like magical electricity, whatever tie around it. And until then, you know, you do have all the beautiful streaks of silver and gray that are going to. And it's not like a dark black either. It's like a darker gray color of the actual blade and that burgundy on the handle just such a gorgeous color amazing application of paint i'm not sure if some of these were intentional there are like a few paint blemishes and scuffs here and there nothing crazy you know i just like to focus on the little details just so you are aware so people if they don't if they get this sword and then they see it they're gonna complain about it i don't think it's necessarily intentional but it might be just to kind of give some weathering and wear, which is fine. I think it looks fantastic. I'd rather have some of these brush marks and weathering on it than just a flat gold paint around it. And the handle, great grip, even with those, I'm not sure what the purpose of these spirals are. We don't have too much information on the dagger itself and even Mortis as a whole. Besides that arc, I don't believe we really have too much info on it. This is absolutely incredible. I mean, <laughs> this is, it's like I'm almost speechless because it's such an amazing prop, such a unique thing. Usually I won't jump on like a prop or anything until after I'm aware of like the seller and the creator and how things are. This one right away, I knew I had to have this. 
it's a pretty solid piece. You can definitely hit someone with it and you don't want to hit them too hard. It might break. It's definitely got some good weight to it. It's made solid and I believe it's all one piece. If I recall watching the Instagram stories of the updates, I think it's all one piece. So the whole, the casting came out fantastic. I mean, it's perfect. I don't see any loose ends, any scraps, anything that needs to be buffed out. It's not sharp at all at the end, so you don't have to worry about that. I don't believe I've ever seen anyone cosplay as the father, the daughter, or the son, and I don't know if I ever will. Maybe, maybe the father one day, he has a pretty cool look to him, but even besides cosplay, this is just an amazing display piece, and it's such a unique thing where you, you have swords from shows like, or movies like Gladiator, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, but we don't, we rarely see actual swords and weapons like this in Star Wars, but when we do, they have such a powerful meaning. Of course, Rey had that dagger in The Rise of Skywalker, which, let me just add, people thought that was the dagger of Mortis. I don't know how or why anyone would even remotely consider that the same thing because that dagger was not only a lot smaller but it had like all the different shape and design and change and looks of the Death Star and everything but this one it's like an actual sword I, I don't know why that was ever even a theory I do wish we had more of the dagger and just mortis in general props foundry highly highly recommend them one more time I'll recommend them till the end of time from the mask to this they have the new Jedi Temple Guard armor files they have other masks they have a lot of things in the works fantastic work definitely get this it's well worth the price well worth the wait and it's not even that long of a wait not that high of a price either and if you have any questions any comments anything at all feel free to leave them down below be sure to give props foundry a like and a follow um, i'll leave all their information down below as well be sure to like my video subscribe to my channel and again any questions or comments i'll try to respond to them in the feed below thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next video